hi everyone and welcome back so in the last videos we have created a proxy service and auth service now it's time to look back our front-end applications like what all things we are building we need to have a front-end interface for doing authentication and how we are going to manage the roles of different users in the whole system so this is the uber eats clone right what we are saying is in the uber eats clone app what do you think like what all different users entity will be there end user system admins so i will just note these down one is uh, so here this is the end user who are going to use our system like the customers who are going to buy food then there will be a delivery partner okay and admin system admin. and then restaurant admin. that these are the specific rules which i understand with the whole system end user is going to just read and put the order delivery partner will see the orders and uh, deliver the package to the target address system admin is a overall admin he can create a new restaurant admin he can onboard a new restaurant to the whole system because there will be a back office application through which the these system admins will create or onboard a new restaurant to the uber eats platform and then the restaurant admin they can actually update create food menu items they keep changing their prices and all these things under the limited criteria okay so now front end application let's revisit them here we are going to use right one application i'm going to write in the next years and another application is a react app this is going to be the csr client side rendering application this is going to be the SSR and so it is already ssr so the vendor portal i mean the restaurant portal will be in the swell kit so restaurant admins this next CSSR, let's say the system admin will use it like the admin team at the uber eats platform they can do the changes and all these things this is a react app this is the end user who's going to buy food right these are the roles and permissions we can further create a further roles and permissions and this proxy service will just navigate us to the different uh, services we have in the system so here is another service and this is the restaurant okay because this is how we started and this is how we are going now what i'm going to do is i'm going to create a we have already i have created a new playlist where i was talking about swell kit so if anybody is interested in uh, knowing how swell kit works they can take a look and swell kit ssr because we need that kind of knowledge then next gssr we are going to use next js 13 we are going to use the next js version 13 so we are going to explore the recent changes done in the next js and the react js we are going to use the latest version and all the latest concepts of the react js react js i hope whoever is watching this playlist already know react js so I'll, i won't be covering okay what are the basic fundamentals i already skipped that you can take a look on master playlist on my channel if you want to learn more about react swell kit i have already covered now i will be building a admin dashboard for the restaurant next yes i'm going to cover in a separate playlist and then we will use those learnings to build the system admin portal where a user having a system admin can access and can see overall to the the whole system like the orders the the number of restaurants the number of users the number of orders being per, uh, present all different administrative tasks we can do with this portal so we are kind of a building a huge system so we need a lot of microservices a lot of front end and all these things are inside a one monorepo so this is how we are going now next part of this is building the admin dashboard for these two application which is our which is server side rendered app and then after that we will just baseline and we will just create a few pages login authentication authorization and then we will just create a restaurant admin service so that restaurant uh, 
admins can see the data flowing through and then restaurant service because that service will be storing the the food menu items the, the menu of a restaurant the users and all those things users will be in the auth service but uh, which user can access which data we are going to decide in the authorization logic okay so let's get started this is all about a new journey we are going to explore on next js and we will build a next js admin portal then swell js admin portal swell kit swell kit admin portal